Just a couple more minutes, guys. We'll get started. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. And if you're not quite ready, then join in as soon as you're able. <clears throat> go ahead and roll the head. Oh, sorry, face here. Right. And all right, here we go. Roll the head. Take it in the other direction. Take the right hand, pull the right ear down towards the right shoulder gently. Release, other side. Release, throw the arms forward. Backwards. Twisting.
add a forward or backward step as you twist. Step forward, hey. step forward, opposite side. So I'm just changing legs here. Try to use that inertia from your arms to, to propel you forward. Ame. Hands on the hips, around with the hips. Other way. Feet together, round with the knees. Other way. Pick up one foot, roll the ankle. Other way. Switch feet. Other way. Feet about uh, hip width apart. Open the chest, look up, inhale. Exhale, bend forward. Knees can be slightly bent if they need to. Maybe shift your weight sort of from one leg to the other, but keep, keep the legs strong. Walk your hands towards the right. So you're sort of twisting a little bit. You should feel this in the right hamstring. Keep breathing. Walk the hands over to the left. Walk back to center and bend the knees. Slowly roll yourself up so that the head and neck shoulders come up last. Okay, something uh, a little bit different still, just warming up, uh, stretching out here. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna, when I, on the count, you're gonna bring up your knee, squeeze it in and down. Other side, itch, down. E down. When you squeeze that knee in, really try to squeeze it into the center line of your body. It wants to pull towards your spine. Keep the chest forward, the core strong. So when you're squeezing that knee in, if you're collapsing forward, you're sort of defeating the purpose here. So if you can't quite get your knee that high, that's fine. But we want to work on getting the butt forward here and keeping this core strong. That's a little bit more important than the height of your knee here, and then relax that hip flexor, squeeze in and release, squeeze in, release. The more you squeeze that in and the tighter you keep your core, you'll feel this sort of elasticity, this, this bounce away as you release here, boom. It's not gonna be exaggerated, right? So it, if your, your knees are not gonna go flying away, but you should start to feel that the springiness, it wants to sort of fly away, okay? Here, a couple more. Okay, so next part, there's a couple steps involved. So you're gonna bring up the left leg, squeeze it in, and then from right there, you're going to take that foot, step forward, lean forward, Bending at the hip, keeping your hips square. So if your hip bones were headlights, you want both of them pointing towards the ground. Back leg is strong. So I'm sort of doing, in yoga, we call it a standing split. So I'm coming here, taking my hands to the ground. If I can't quite get them to the ground, then I can maybe, you know, hold onto my thigh or something like this here. And I'm gonna pull the extended leg up here. Place forward, down. Pull it up, down, bend forward, up. Okay, so the leg that's stretched out behind you is the next one to be squeezed in. Make sense? Keep up best you can. Here we go. So itch, squeeze in, knee, take it forward, bend forward. Keep both legs strong, lift through the inner thighs, 
It's like you're trying to pull your heel towards the ceiling on the extended leg and then each, bring that knee forward and through, hopefully without touching the ground if you can. Squeeze it in, each, down, knee. Each, squeeze in, knee, down. Each, squeeze in, knee, down. Each, squeeze in, knee, down. Good. Give your legs a little bit of a shake. And we're gonna move on here in just a moment. So from right there, let's go ahead and drop down into a nice deep squat, okay? If you need to have your heels up, that's fine, okay? If you go a little bit wider, you might be able to keep your, your heels flat on the ground. But what I wanna see is that you're taking your elbows on the inner side of your knees and applying outward pressure and pulling your chest forward. So just like when we are bringing the knee up, we don't wanna be hunched forward over our knee here. Okay, when I'm taking the squat, I wanna have, I'm gonna to work towards getting my chest more forward. Okay, here, and just hold and breathe. You can shift the weight maybe side to side a little bit. Place the hands on the floor, and then you're gonna drop, you're gonna shoot your legs behind you and drop the hips, look up at the ceiling. Now, when you drop the hips, again, we don't let this just relax down, okay? Bad for the spine. I want to lift, squeeze my legs so that the thighs come off the ground, okay? So I'm applying pressure into the ground with the, the tops of my feet, and I'm looking straight up. My hands, hopefully, are pretty much below my shoulders, not forward, not in front of them. And then push the hips back. Come up to uh, tabletop, all fours, neutral spine, neutral spine. Take your hands. So just like you, you've heard me talk about opening pickle jars with our feet when we're making uh, you know, our various stances and so forth, have that outward rotation. You wanna have the same thing here. So my hands are pointing forward, all right, but I'm externally rotating the triceps under, okay? Almost like my hands wanted to twist out here. So the elbows sort of go under. So this means that if I were to bend my elbows, they go back, not out, okay? So, you know, I'm always getting on you about, you know, when you guys do your push-ups, you're flaring your elbows. You want them to fold in. Just like when we punch here, we don't want those elbows flaring out. Okay, we want the elbows to hold in. Okay, so we're externally rotating the hands here. And from right here, look up at the ceiling, drop the chest, inhale, exhale, push the floor away, arch the back. Inhale, lift, exhale, arch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, arch. From right there, extend your left leg directly behind you off the ground. Using the same muscles you did when you were standing on one leg, you're really lifting through the inner thighs. So that left butt cheek is really firing right now. Okay, keeping the heel lifted. And then lift, raise the, uh, if you're comfortable there, raise your right arm, your opposite arm straight forward. Pull the elbow and the knee in to meet each other. Each one. E. San. She. Go. And relax that down. Opposite side. Extend that leg. Good and strong. Parallel to the ground, hopefully. Keep externally rotating through the hands. Reach forward with the opposite hand. Trying to make one straight line from the front hand all the way to the back heel, okay? And coil in, knee to elbow, each, knee, san, shi, go. Good. 
and then go ahead and come to your knees. Standing on our knees, again, I know this is not super comfortable for everybody. If you need to put something under your knees just for this exercise, feel free, okay? Left hand out, right hand on the hip, just punching, okay? Ready, H, E, Sun, Chi, Go, Rok, Sitch, Hutch, Ku, Ju. Relax, uh, shake your knees up if you need to, but we're going back down. So what I wanna show, I don't know how easy it'll be to see from where we are, but I've got a resistance band right here, okay? Um, you don't need to have one. I'm just doing this to show sort of what I'm looking for. When I'm on my knees like this, the resistance band wants to take my hips back like this. So, you know, you've heard me say, you've heard other sensei say, we don't want to break our center. This is a broken center here, All right? My hips are back here. So I want to keep forward pressure here. That means the butt stays tight. All of this stays tight. Despite how much this is pulling me back, I want to keep this forward all the time, okay, here. So if you have a resistance band, you can do that. If not, don't worry about it, but you still want to try and get that feeling, okay? So go back down to your standing on your knees, <clears throat> left hand out, right hand on the hip. Punching, ready. Itch. Me, Sun, Chi, Bo, Oak, H, Hatch, Ku, Ju, H, Me, Sun, Chi, Go, Oak, H, Hatch, Ku, Ju. Good. Go ahead and stand up. Give your arms a uh, legs a uh, quick break. Okay, punching again, now we're standing, all right? But the same idea holds true here. If I get back into my resistance band, all right, this wants to pull me backwards here. It wants to break my center, okay? So I don't wanna punch like this. I want to be forward all the time here, okay? Feet rooted and everything. So we're just punching, ready. Eight, me, sun, she, go. Oak, H, Hutch, Q, G. And moving on. So from our uh, ready position here, this time punch, punch, step back with the opposite leg, making Kisame, uh, uh, Oiski, Jodan. Okay, so hips open and then punch, punch, twist, stepping back, punch, punch, twist, stepping back. Okay, nothing new, ready. H, punch, punch, back. Me. San. Chi. Do. Oak, H, Hutch, Ku, Ju. Good. We're going to play with this a bit as we usually do, borrowing some techniques and themes from uh, various kata. So now taking those two punches that you just did, all right, we should all be experts at that by now. Punch, punch, building that torque into the ground, okay? So we just got done stepping back here into Zen Kutsudach, okay? Now, when you step back, you're gonna take a bigger twist. So you're in Kibadach making Tesho, palm heel, like we do in Jion, here. And then punch, punch, twist. Punch, punch, twist. So 
here, uh, back to that pickle jar concept, Ro outward rotation of the foot makes me want to turn this way here, but now I'm going to turn even more so that I'm keep a Dutch here. Okay, let's try. Ready? It's punch, punch, tisho. Fingers together, thumb in. Me. Sun. Si. Go. Okay. Good. Pitch. Hatch. And juke. Okay. Moving on, different technique, same idea. So, again, this will be weird. Just bear with me. It has a purpose, I promise. So, punching twice, we're still stepping back. But instead of throwing a technique to the front, like we just got done doing two different times, you're gonna throw a technique to the back. So you're still stepping back into a horse stance, okay? Punch, punch. But now when you step to the back, I want you to throw like you're making, uh, you know, techie, the two punches in techie here. And I come forward, punch, punch, here. Punch, punch. <clears throat> so now we're really using the torque that we're building through that leg to launch our fists backwards, okay? The arms are relaxed here. Punch, punch, here, itch, knee, here. You get the idea? Let's try. Ready? It's me. Son. She. Go. Out. Stage. Hatch. Who? Two. Switch. Knee. Sun. Shi. You go. Okay, so we're gonna do, relax for a moment. We're gonna do this again. Um, so I want you to think about this a little bit differently. So I, I know I've talked about before that we get so, it, it's so much written into sort of karate gospel that our, you know, when we punch our chest and shoulders must be square. And so when people punch, they, they stop their punch without thinking about it. They're like, oh, I can't punch further than this because it takes my shoulder in front. And that's true to a degree. But remember, we have all of this, it would be the thoracic spine that rotates here. So when I punch here, my shoulders and chest are still in line, but I'm sort of over twisting. So now I have, instead of thinking, of, oh, I have to stop my punch because I have to make sure it doesn't go further than my chest. I just throw it and I don't care where it goes. I just let this go. Think of that same idea here when you're throwing those techniques to the rear, because again, I said, do it like techie. Well, one of the things that we teach when we say techie is, well, this punch here has to stop sort of right where your, your, your breast is here. And so people go <clears throat> and they stop, they put on the brakes right there and the whole arm tightens up because they think I have to stop right here. Well, you're killing your power, right? You're just worrying too much about stopping rather than punching. So for this part, 
you're gonna do exactly what you did. I don't want you to try to stop your arms or your hands, okay? I just want you to punch, punch, throw, okay? Notice my, it's hard to tell, I know, over Zoom. Arms straight. Yes, if I was doing the kata, I'd probably maybe dial it back a little bit, but for right now we're working on a feeling, not a textbook definition of how a technique is performed here. So when I'm doing this, I don't care where my fist ends up, okay, here. I'm just gonna throw. Rather than coming punch, punch, oh, I gotta stop it. Oh, I gotta stop it. Okay, make sense? Let's try it again. Ready. And set up. H. Me. Sam. She. Oh. Okay. H, touch, Q, G. Okay. All right, let's move on. So uh, we'll work into some keyhole here. So find, find your floor space for doing some basics. Hidari, hidari zen kutsudachi, geiran barai. And since we're just starting out, stepping forward, chudan ski, hips square. Okay, hips square. Ready. H, me, san, shi, go, rok, h, hach. Make sure you're doing straight punch, not reverse punch. We do. Hey, take it back. Okay, let's see. So we've been working on Kankudai. Um, hands up. Um, stepping forward, uh, Sotuke, back fist, Yakuski. Okay. Ready, we'll add some stuff from Kankadai here shortly. And eight, me, soto, back fist, yakuski, san, si, do, ok, eight, hats, Good. Good. Okay. Take it back. <clears throat> So we won't necessarily move around a whole lot on this. We're, we're just gonna pull some stuff out of the kata, some different uh, elements just to, to focus on them. Okay, so coming back to feet, hip width apart, punch, block, itch, knee. Okay, here we go. Itch, knee. Sa 
Chi. Go. Rook, come up with strong legs, strong core. Hitch. Hutch. Good. Coot. Good carry. Do. Okay, moving on. So this will only do one side. We really only do one side in the kata, so, but that's okay. Taking a uh, left foot forward, striking out, covering the head with the left hand. You're striking out with the right. Front snap kick, twist, manjuke, shoot forward <coughs> and pull. Okay, <clears throat> that's all one count. We should be used to the sequence by now. Ready? Right. Knee. Sang. Shi. You don't necessarily have to go back and forth, just turning one way, turning the other. Mix up your angles, change your direction. So we, we just explore explore the, your movement a little bit more. So if you, if you need to watch me, go ahead. But you know, I might come here, front snap kick, Manji here, pull, and on the next one, maybe I go that way, here. Okay, and then maybe I twist this way here. So I'm not changing anything. I'm just, techniques all stay the same, but I'm varying my angles. All right, so mix it up a bit. As long as you're keeping all of this, your core and everything engaged, it really doesn't matter. Because the reality is for the kata to be functional, for us to be able to use the techniques that are in there, we gotta be able to do them we got to be able to use them outside of the form of the kata, outside of the ambusan. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Aich. <clears throat> Me. San. Shi. Go. Oak. Sit. Good. <clears throat> Hachi. Who? And Ju, last one. Good, relax. All right, let's try that same idea, <clears throat> different techniques, but same idea meaning I want you to vary your angles and directions on this next part, okay? So the, the chunk of the kata that we're looking at here is going to be the, the side snap kick, elbow. Side snap kick, elbow. So if you're playing with different directions, maybe you throw the side snap kick here and then you twist and you make elbow over here. Maybe you step here and then maybe you make elbow over here. As long as all you're doing is a side snap kick followed immediately by an elbow strike, I don't care which way you move, all right? We're not performing the kata right now, okay? We're just working with the themes out of the kata. Okay, here we go. I'll do a two count. So each should be the kick, knee will be the elbow. Ready. Each. Knee. San. Shi. Go. Rook. Sitch. 
I said I was going to do a two count, and I only counted one. Sorry. Just keep it one count. Hutch. Ku. Ju. Jitch. Jimmy. Jisan. Jisit. Goal. Get a good full twist into that elbow strike so that the, the point of your elbow is pointing forward. Again, don't stop it 90 degrees from your center line. <clears throat> Couple more. Itch. And snap. Elbow. Knee. Sun. Good. All right. Let's move on. So one of the more, for, for people when they're first learning the kata, one of the more uh, challenging pieces of kankudai, uh, there, there's several, but uh, one in particular is we step forward with this nukite and then we roll the hand up, palm up here, and then we step around over top, making back fist, and then we fold under tetsui. So we're gonna work just on that, okay? We'll do a few, you know, work within your space again. So uh, I'll queue up each count to start and then we'll gradually reduce the number of counts. Ready? Here we go. So H to forward spear hand. Knee, roll the hand up. You know, you're trying to get that palm, or sorry, the forearm uh, perpendicular to the ground. Okay, here, like you're serving tea to somebody, palm up, all right? When you do that, the hips go to Hanmi. So your hips should not be square at this point. I can't see anybody's hips, but I'm just throwing that out there. Okay, so here, here, you're gonna step around with the back foot to turn around. As you do that, the arm, the elbows come above the head, almost like you're trying to pull a, the, your shirt off. And then your left hand comes over top and down back fist, and then we fold that arm in underneath the right hammer fist. So stay exactly where you are, do not move, but you're just gonna move straight into the next part. So you're just gonna step forward somewhere, making nukite once again, roll the hand up, step around, hurricane, fold in, hammer fist. Again, try from a different angle, itch, knee, San, Si. Again, H, Ni, San, Si. H, Ni, San, Si. H, Ni, San, Si. I'm gonna count a few and then uh, you're gonna do it on your own. Ready? H, spear hand. Knee, roll the hand up. San, step behind. Horse stance, yep. Uh, make sure that your palm is up, carry on that, that back fist. There you go, yep. And then she, fold in, make tetsui. Now it's palm down. There you go. Okay, all one count now, all one count. Have some freedom of movement, angle and direction, change it up. Sorry, I hear galloping above me. I think the dogs are getting their dinner. Okay, ready. H. Me. San. Go. Rook. Sitch.
And you. Okay, take it back. So we're gonna keep that same sequence, but I want you to add the next three movements. So after we make that hammer fist, it's, we have the movements that are quite similar to techie. So I've made that hammer fist here and I'm gonna elbow, elbow strike, stack, down block to the other side. Okay, horse stance. But then I might go this way, spear hand, palm up, around, tetsui, elbow strike, down block, uh, stack, down block, other way, okay? So mix it up as far as your angle and direction go, but just add those next three movements in there, okay? We'll keep it all one count. Don't stress too much if you get behind. There's a lot here. Ready. Itch. Knee. Tom. She. Almost a techie. Go. Good. Okay. Hitch. Hutch. Hey. And you. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna add another piece to this. This is another spot in the kata that, again, people sort of struggle with when they first learn it. It's a very different thing. I mean, we don't really see this in any other kata before this. So, you know, it's probably new to most people once they get to it. So after your elbow strike down uh, stack, down block, remember we leave that down block where it is. I'm going to turn this way. And I'm going to take this big step here, like I'm turning a bus wheel. Okay, my elbows, my, my uh, right elbow is connected here. This is here. And then boom, dump. So we've talked about the application here. If I've got someone's leg, so pretend this is someone's kick. I've caught their kick. I'm coming here and I'm stepping to the side and I've got their chest right here. I'm going to dump them backwards. Okay. So that timing has to be such that it's all of this has to be at the same time here. Okay, let's give it a try. So you got a lot to do all on one count. This will probably be the last piece we add. Ready? Itch. Me. Sun. Keep going. I'm watching. Big step, Carrie. Leave your right hand where it is. Step around. Your right hand just caught someone's kick. Step 180 degrees, 180. 
So you're going to be facing the opposite direction after your step. No, other way. That's the right direction, yes, but now you got to include the arms. Turn the big wheel. Your down block is here. Okay. So I have to, when I step, the arm doesn't move. It stays right here. And I'm like this, like I've got a, uh, here we go. So everybody can see the ball, like I'm hugging it here. Okay. So I've got my down block here. When I step, it's like I'm sort of hugging this ball here. And then I come here. Okay. Or uh, I don't know in, in uh, I don't know the name of the throw in judo, uh, but there's a throw in karate where you grab someone, you know, if this is somebody's body right here, I wrap my arms around them, around their, their belly here, and I just boom, I flip them backwards here. So imagine you're wrapping your arms around someone and you're tilting them backwards there. Let's see you try. Yes, that's it. Try again. Five more times. Big step. Yeah, that's it. Your hands, your uh, palms, when you, so when we have the down block, obviously our palm is down facing the floor. When I start to step, I want to rotate the right arm so that my both of my palms are facing towards me. We don't keep them here. We want to be here. Okay, again, like I'm making big hug like this here. Okay. Keep working out. We just have a few minutes left. I'm not going to give you anything new. I want you to work on the those elements from that sequence.
So Carrie, you could practice, you could take like uh, that kick shield behind you, the big blue one and wrap your arms around it and practice sort of dumping it backwards. It's behind you there. I think that's what that is, sorry. Or a heavy bag or something. Yeah. That's the idea. It's an odd shape for it, but. I'm sure if you showed that movement to professor, he could he could find a few judo throws that do that. Oh, okay. All right, yame, we are at time. So I'm gonna close this out. So Kyotsuki, detention, wait. All right, thank you for coming. Uh, sensei, thank you for covering last night, appreciate it. You guys have a good long week. Uh, no class Monday, at least no karate class. I don't know what professor's doing, but Monday's a holiday. It's Martin Luther King Day, so uh, no karate class. And uh, we'll see you Tuesday. Have a good one.